4, an update from Shelby County in Alabaster that businessmen charged with theft were learning from prosecutors there may be more victims in this case and Nicholas Whitfield could face additional charges. Your Shelby County reporter Ajne Robinson was in court this morning and has an update for us right now. Yeah, that's right. Morgan Sarah today at the courthouse, a judge announced that Mr. Whitfield's hearing has been moved to December because he could face at least 12 more theft charges as more victims start to come forward. Now, we as we have reported, Whitfield is the owner of Nick's Auto Repair in Alabaster. Now, he was arrested after an investigation of multiple complaints about his business practices. Now, according to officers, several folks were paying Whitfield for work. He wasn't finished after Whitfield was arrested, he was released on bond, but prosecutors tell me they have reason to believe Whitfield committed more crimes while out on bond. That's why they're seeking to revoke it. Now that decision is now on hold pending further investigation. I believe that you may be a victim in this case. Please contact the Alabaster Police Department, Detective Brewer with the Alabaster Police Department uh, to make them aware of the circumstances uh, regarding your case. Now, Whitfield currently faces 14 charges of theft, and his hearing was reset for December 4th. Live in Shelby County, Ajene Robinson, WBRC, Fox 6 News, on your side.